session we're going to look at Solid Edge Cam Pro. Um, although um, it's called Solid Edge, it's not um, restricted to Solid Edge files. You can use um, Cam or Solid, um, NX or Solid Works or whatever. And in this exercise, I'm going to use a um, NX assembly. So we go new. And under the manufacturing tab, we specify that we want to use um, an existing part. Um, units are in inches, and prismatic turning in nine is what we're after. And in here, we can specify that um, we want to open an existing file. And you'll see that we have the files in here. And we go OK. And from there, we can go OK again. And what that's doing is it open up the um, uh, assembly that we have. And as you can see from here, um, we've got the um, assembly. Um, we can over here in the um, assembly navigator, we can see that we've got various things. Um, you don't necessarily need the um, tooling or the fixtures, but um, if you want to make sure that you're not going to um, clash with those, it's useful to have them in. So um, we've got a file here called um, tube stock, which is the outside, and um, the uh, bushing that you can't see at the moment is is in there as well. So it's the sort of starting point and the end point. And just so that we can see that, if we right mouse click on the um, stock, we can go in here and we can set our transparency up to about midway. And there you can see this sort of finished article in there as well. So um, by doing this, we can see both the stock and the um, completed item. So having got the geometry here, we need to look at um, setting up the tooling. Um, so we've got the operation navigator and the turret has up to 12 stations. And we'll start with station one. And in here, we can either go um, insert tool from uh, right mouse clicking, or there's an option up here to create tool. So we're looking at this stage to put in um, a um, outside diameter tool. Um, so if we click on there, we can give it a name. So just specify what size we're going to use. As I said, we're using Imperial. So um, we just need to set the nose radius up. Um, everything else will just leave as normal. So we can click OK on there, and then you see that the tool drops in here. Uh, we can right mouse click and go copy and just paste it into um, more than paste. We want to paste inside. So again, we can uh, right mouse click and go rename. And this one's going to be. 0.016 and just double click and bring back up the um, standard that we're going to use and change this to 0.16 and that's all we need to do for that one. So in the third station we're going to do a um, groove tool. So again we'll click on station 3. I'll use the create tool button from up here. Um, so um, we want to do a groove tool, as I said. So that's this tool here. The L stands for left. There's also a, um, a right option as well. So um, if I click on here, you can just put a size in on that, just so that we've got some definition. So this time around, we want to set obviously the um, insert width up to um, 118 as sort of indicated from the name and um, we'll just leave it at that stage and then um, we'll jump down to station 8 and um, create a tool in here 
Um, so this is going to be the parting tool. I'll just give it that name. And again, I'm going to do the um, same tool as before. And this one we want to have as 0.125. And go OK. So just um, adding in um, one or two more. So in tool station five, I'm going to insert a tool. So we'll start doing the um, inside um, machining um, tools here. So this time we want to have a um, ID groove tool. And we're going to have the um, same definitions as we had on the external. So again, we can just change this one to two. And again, if we want to, we can do a copy and paste inside. And we want to make this 0.16. And obviously, you need to rename it. Should be and then finally we've got in um, station seven uh, we want the um, inside groove so um, we are looking for this one here and. This time we've got a, a few extra settings to make. So the inside width is um, going to stay the same. Um, position, we want it coming from the underside. And um, under holder, we want to change it to a 90 degree style right hand. And um, we'll um, finish our tooling with that. Now that we've set up the tooling that we're going to use, we want to sort of just have a quick look at the um, geometry side of things. If I right mouse click into the blank area down here, I can choose one of the different options up here um, from here, or I can just use the expand all just to um, show the um, bits and pieces in here. So this is where we specify um, what we're working with. What's, what we're starting with, what we're finishing with, and um, what we need to avoid. So um, if I um, double click on the um, workspace main, I can specify which is my part. So um, I'm just going to select it. And if I hover over here, you get your ellipses up. And then from there, it will find what's underneath there. Um, so this is the um, part geometry. So I want the um, the actual bushing. So I can select that and go OK and blank. Again, if I just hover over here, I want the um, stock part and go OK. And um, then we can go OK from here. So we have this first one here. So um, if I change this to avoidance on the outside diameter, and then I can right mouse click on the um, containment main insert geometry, and um, we'll set another one up for the inside diameter. And um, we want to. Uh, I'll come back to this actually. Let's just um, change our view. Let's go to the top view. And um, yeah, sorry, I should have added in that other one. Insert geometry, ID, and um, I want to position my start point as a direct point and I can just sort of indicate a point in here. So this is where the start point for the internal 
um, bit is, and then if I double click on the outside one, I can do the same for the outside. And I'm just going to specify a point out here and go OK. So just one more setting to do. If I double click on the um, containment main and um, axial trim plane one, I want to set as a distance. And this is going to be minus 4.125. So that just sort of sets up um, the geometry for us to move forward. So now let's create the um, machining operations. So I'm just going to um, look at possibly putting in a um, section plane in here. So under the view tab, um, we can go and um, just edit this section here. So um, Y plane, um, and we can offset it if we want to, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And then if I go back to orient the view to the top view, you can see sort of where we're um, looking at on here. Um, so go back to the home tab. Um, let's start creating our um, operations. Let's start with some roughing. So if I right mouse click and go insert operation, then I start with the facing. Um, I will set it to the o, um, tall one basically and we want to have a roughing method and I'll just label this so that we know which one is which and that just brings up the um, options in here so under the main tab we just want to set our um, offset on here um, to 0 0.032 and then under the stock tolerance and clearance. Um, we want to have um, 0 0.05 space and then 032 in the radial. So then we can just go generate and then you can see where it's going. So it's sort of just off that face coming in from our starting point. So we can go OK on there. Um, then if we do the same thing and this time we want to do a um, facing operation using the same tool, not facing. Um, we want to, um, rather than facing, we want to um, uh, just do a rough turning. So this time um, we want to change our tool, obviously. So um, just do the turning. And again, as I said, we use the same tools as we did before. And in here, um, we want to um, set a point on the radial trim. And we'll just drop it on that key point there. And then on the stop clearance, we want to set those same values that we had on the facing. before we generate. So you can see um, we've got the um, facing, we've got the um, turning. So we go OK on there. The final roughing operation is on the inside of the bore. Um, and um, this time around we want to um, use the same um, tool. Um, same thing, but um, we want the ID 032 this time. Um, and let's rename this to four. Go OK. And like we did before, let's go to a point, but we'll take the inside edge this time, obviously. And under the stock, we'll use the same settings that we had on the other two operations. So we can go generate and OK. So you can see that it's coming a lot across on the inside um, at a slight offset. So with the um, roughing operations done, we now need to generate the operations for the finishing. 
and then um, we'll start with the um, turning operation. I want this um, to be the um, OD16, uh, which will give a, a, a nicer finish. And um, we want a finishing method, so give that a name. And go OK. And this time we want a distance of zero. So we can generate that. As you can see, the path is coming in down the front face OK. Then we need to do a operation here. Um, this one's going to be a um, finish turn and uh, continue with the same tool, same method, and go OK. And just choose generate there. So um, you can see that it's coming in now this side and going along that front face, uh, top face. So we can go OK on that. So lastly, we do the um, finishing on the bore. So we insert operation, um, same tool, finishing turn, change the, um, change it to PID 016. And Give it a name and generate and go OK. So from here we could sort of go on and um, add another couple of operations. Um, we could do the um, grooving, which would be done in the same way, um, but I'll just skip that and we'll go to the um, parting command. So we want to use that. We want the parting tool and um, it's done similar to the grooving so we'll just call it part off. Accept that default and um, we just need to accept the um, options in here and we can finish out on that. So with the um, operations completed um, we can just sort of have a look at um, how that goes. We can just go um, click up here and go play and sorry uh, containment main and you can see it going through the various operations that we've um, applied so this should be just give you a, um, a brief uh, overview on how to do some um, turning operations in solid edge cam